Hello, David Harper of the Bionic Turtle with a brief tutorial on Bayes' theorem or Bayes' formula, a basic idea in probability that turns out to have profound implication in practice. To illustrate it, consider my friend here, the stick figure character, facing a decision among three doors. But first consider he has no prior information. He is unknowing. He is ignorant. This is an unconditional probability, really. Now, Add the add some prior information. Assume that he knows he has some, he comes into possession of some information to indicate that one door is more promising and another door is more dangerous. This addition of new information rationally should affect his judgment and his probabilities. So this is really what Bayes' theorem about. It's about the introduction of new information to adjust the probabilities. So mathematically, it looks like this, where we say the probability of g, given that e u occurs, is equal to this. So this right here is a conditional probability, because we're interested in the probability that g will occur conditional on the fact that u has already occurred. And it equals this. In the numerator, we have a joint probability See, the probability of g, if that occurs, it gets multiplied by the probability of u, given that g occurs. So in fact, what we have here in the numerator is a joint probability that both u and g occur, divided by the probability of u. OK, but if that seemed confusing, I'll show you a graphic. And just remember, this is a conditional probability. What we're doing is we're adding new information. Now that we know, if we know that u is going to occur, what is our new conditional probability that g will occur? The denominator breaks out into this following way, but I'll go to a graphic to show you how this works. Consider a very simple bimodal case where we're looking at a stock, and the stock is sensitive to the economy. And so the economy, we simplistically say, has a 70% chance of growing and a 30% chance of slowing. Now the stock, our stock, is sensitive to the economy. If the economy grows, if we get here into this upstate, then the stock has an 80% chance of going up next year and only a 20% chance of going down. On the other hand, if we start out here and go down, if the economy slows, then our stock has only a 30% chance of going up. So let's consider the terminology. This 80% chance is a conditional probability. It is the probability that the stock goes up, see right here, given or conditional on the economy growing. And it's 80%, and so that's a conditional probability because it's conditional here on this first state. Similarly, this is also a conditional probability, the probability that the stock goes down given that conditional on the economy slows, in that case, 70%. Now, the, what is the joint probability? Notice this is a little different here. This is the joint probability of both economy going growing and the stock going up. So if we sit out here, that refers to the odds of us ending up here in this node, which is the only node that represents both the economy growing and the stock going up. So that's a joint probability. And it's, in fact, equal to this, the conditional probability of u given g, which is right here, 80%, multiplied by the probability, the unconditional probability, of the economy growing. That's the 70% here. So this math here, if that looks a little confusing at first glance, look at the graphic. It's just intuitive. If I start here, the probability of ending up here is I have to go through both this step and this step, 70% times 80% equals 56%. That's my chances of ending up here. Because this is a two-step binomial, I only have four outcomes at the end. They're going to need to sum to 100%. So the unconditional probability, imagine we're sitting out here in front before anything happens. What is the probability that the economy will grow? That's an unconditional probability on 70%. It doesn't depend on anything. Now I consider the Bayes formula question. What if I observe at the end of the year that the stock went up? What is the knowing that if I have that prior information, what is the probability that the economy in fact grew? See how that's the conditional question? Given that the I observe the stock went up, that means it either went up here or here. 
what is now the conditional probability that the economy will grow? We know the unconditional probability is of the economy growing to 70% before the year, but after the year, if we have new information that the stock went up, this changes our perspective or the probability that the economy grew. And to get that, we can apply the Bayes' theorem. So that formula right here. And so this piece right here, the conditional probability is 80%. This probability of the economy growing is right here. That's the 70%. And the probability of an up movement is the addition of these two nodes here. So if I multiply that out, the application of the Bayes' theorem ends up looking like this, the conditional probability that the economy grew, knowing that I observe the stock went up, equals this, and that turns out to be 86%. So notice, I went from an unconditional probability where I had no prior information that the economy will grow of 70% to a conditional probability of 86%. In other words, if I know, if I observe that the stock went up, and because the stock is so dependent on the economy, I can now upwardly revise my probability that the economy grew. And that's the application of Bayes' formula. I hope that was helpful. Thank you.